Wow, guys. All right. A lot has happened <laughs> just it, since I've posted this video, since I posted it, what, two hours ago? Uh, showing you that there was no front, nothing, no, well, little pockets of precipitation just erupting and not even knowing if that is produced by our Doppler radar or if there is actual precipitation. But the entire area where you were having all of the flooding in central United States, uh, it was it dry. And I did get some comments. Thank you all for leaving your comments, by the way, weighing in about what's happening in your area. I really appreciate it. Um, but I, I did get some, you know, it was like the first time that you had some sun in, oh, Arkansas or uh, Nebraska or Iowa. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't remember. But Texas, for sure. But the comments, you were all saying, yeah, you were actually, you had a dry day. You had a dry day. So I show you this. There's nothing here that can that is indicating that you're going to get severe weather today and tomorrow. Where is it coming from? And I said, they will produce it. They did. Next triad, look at it. Look at all of the extremely low frequencies being shot at these storms. I'll get into, oh, that looks like a nice microwave hit. This storm here, Nebraska, Lincoln, Nebraska. I'll show you what's been happening there. But look at this, the, the entire thing. Unbelievable, they said in that forecast that I was reading in the video that I posted right here, uh, the forecast, energy, energy, energy from Mexico. And I showed you. Uh, where's the energy coming from? We don't see any energy. What's what? What are they talking about? Well, electromagnetic frequencies are energy. Okay. So, you know, this new weather language that we're getting is telling, targeted, fire, uh, energy. But we saw nothing here in Mexico. Well, the energy did come. They got it going. The energy is coming from our Doppler radar stations. The extremely low frequencies being shot, microwaves being shot, that's the energy they're talking about. Man producing weather. Dangerous weather. And it's so obvious now. Well, then you have to think. They know that the majority of the, our population is brain dead. And they don't care. They're, they're just, they don't care. They put out a forecast for severe weather when nothing is showing on radar. And look at it now. Look at it now, now, now. Isn't that a song? Well, I said, if anything occurs, it will be man-made. And you are looking at man-made. You're looking at man-made. Let's take a look at the satellite. Um, <laughs> all right. High frequency heating coming from NEXRAD uh, radar stations. Going right on up. The energy from Mexico going right through Texas, a bit of Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska. And is this Iowa? I believe it is. Let's take a look at the composite radar. And I'll show you. I have no doubt there are what we call uh, Nexrad Harperings. Yep, right here, right here, right here. 
Okay, very obvious. Very friggin' obvious. And you might be seeing some tornadoes coming at you. Yeah, look at all of these microwaves. They, you know, we are getting so blasted from our radar stations, the microwaves that they are using, the extremely low frequencies that they are using, and I have no doubt that a lot of you are feeling it. Feeling it. All right, so let's just take it across. Look at all of the microwaves right here. All of the ripples that you are seeing, those are the microwaves which they can use to heat the atmosphere to create weather fronts. You can see all of this, these defined circular lines coming from Doppler radar stations. You have one right here, one right here, and one here. Yep, they got it going. They got these going right here, circular line, but all of the straight edged lines, those are the extremely low frequencies. Look at this. You've got a whole lot of these high frequencies shooting out of our Doppler radar stations. I do this over and over again, so I, I apologize to all of you if you've heard it before. Yeah, well, do we have to prove everything? I guess we do. Let's go on up to Nebraska. There you go. You see it? The very defined circular line right here. What do they have going on in Lincoln, Nebraska, which is right here? Tornado warnings, hail, strong cells. I'll show you the clouds. Look at all of the Doppler, the harp next red rings. That's why you're seeing so much red. Look at all of the the lasers, you know, the extremely low frequency hits into these storms. And some are quite faint. Don't know if you can see it, but they're shooting out. Right here. I'll link below to this and you can check it out yourself. You might not be able to see it in the video that I post, but you will be able to see it on your screen. All right, so they got them going, right? And right up here also, uh, Iowa. Is this Iowa? Um, look at all of the extremely low frequencies and Yep, you got your the high frequency heating coming out of the Doppler radar stations. So what do we have? Large hail and heavy winds move through eastern Nebraska. Oh wow, tornado warnings. And look, I guess that's a tornado, right? Is it? Well, I guess it is. Sorry guys, they call these things now supercells. Um, look, I don't remember ever seeing clouds like this, okay? Uh, and when you have these straight-edged lights, our clouds are circ natural clouds. They're, they're circular. You don't see these right angles. You don't see them uh, like they're cut off, you know, you don't see V's in clouds, which, well, I have seen very often. This is 
man using frequencies, uh, all of the chemicals and the heavy metals, they create this stuff. <laughs> Yeah. So, and on my playlist weather modification, I have plenty of videos, videos that I've posted on the patents, how they can create tornadoes. You see all the microwaves in the cloud right here, all of the ripples. Now, look at this. Well, I guess that's from the uh, winds, um, but in farm country, or what is that, the uh, mulch, or I don't know what it is, flying across here. Hey, captured this awesome storm out near Pierce, Nebraska this afternoon. Awesome, man. It's awesome. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Anybody looking at that? should know this is not a natural cloud you don't have for natural clouds that their level they're rippled with you know microwaves going through it and you see how straight lined this is oh my god we can't get through to people I can't believe it you know it's so Look, if we just had a lot of stupid people around us or people who just didn't have the ability to open their mind to have conversation about things that are occurring, uh, it, you know, if it didn't bring about, if these topics did not bring about so much destruction and suffering for all life, um, it wouldn't be so hard. But what happens is you know, when you try to talk to people and they just make fun of you or tell you to shut up or go away, well, whatever, you realize more life is going to be suffering because of their refusal to engage. Nebraska. All right. Um, Florida. Storms bring down trees, power lines to central Florida, uh, power outages, more trees down. The reason why I wanted to uh, bring this up again is if you have any trees that are covered with fungal disease, you know that that tree is very sick and weak. If it is close to your home, you might want to consider taking down your trees now because we are seeing more and more trees snapping in half uh, and literally just being uprooted from their base. But check this out. All right, you see this camper? I'm going to let you listen to a news clip. This is Orlando. All right, so you had some flooding and you had power outages and you got a lot of trees down. Um, this is a microburst, uh, strong storm cell that moved from New Mexico all the way to Texas. Yes, it was a mothership presentation of incredible storm structure with a rapidly rotating updraft. Shots included large hail to tennis ball size. Ah, tennis ball size hail. Falling aerial and ground time lapses views of storm structure, as well as lightning and streaks of hail being wrapped around the mesocyclone. You know what can cause a cyclone? 
high frequency heating from our Doppler radar stations. The high frequencies are shot up into the ionosphere and they bounce back into uh, extremely low frequencies and then we have the extremely low frequencies coming out of Gwen Towers and transmitter sites and voila you've got a cyclone and I have shown that document too many times to even count but I can't play this because it's live storms media and I'll get a copyright strike by the way yeah Kilgore Texas wastewater treatment plant experienced a sewer spill and this occurred uh, Thursday into Friday, city of Kilgore underwent an unauthorized discharge of partially treated wastewater at its treatment plant. The discharge occurred from approximately 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. Uh, with approximately five inches of rain. So I don't, this was Thursday or Friday, I'm sorry. Approximately five inches of rain in four hours. Wow. Uh, causing localized flooding of Big Head Creek within the city. This resulted in a heavy inflow of rainwater into the collection system. Uh, apparently several valves were closed because of the current construction of improvements to the facility. So the wastewater overtopped uh, several treatment units, only 400 to 600 gallons of wastewater. Don't worry, only 400 to 600,000. Uh, gallons of partially treated wastewater that flowed over land approximately 200 feet into Big Head Creek and then went approximately one mile to the point where Big Head Creek empties empties into Rabbit Creek and I hope none of you get your water from those creeks. Biloxi, Mississippi. All right, Gary, thank you very much. The Thunderbirds didn't take to the sky today. Strong winds and rain were clearly present. Tristan Rupert was on the beach when the storm hit, and he brings us further coverage. This is video demonstrating the powerful winds and rain that rolled through South Mississippi earlier today. Benders in particular were hit especially hard. You know what the hell's going on? You know, I know it's a tornado coming somewhere, so I was trying to get on the cover. While a tornado warning was put out, we cannot confirm if the damage was caused by a tornado or straight line winds from the storm. No matter the cause, the winds were strong enough for Larry Norwood to instantly worry for his family. The reaction to getting the hell away from here and thinking about my grandbaby, make sure she didn't get hurt. And she did not, but Larry wasn't the only one who had to deal with the strong winds. Well, I was standing right over here and I could see it coming up the road. Tents were flipping and flipping and whatever this tent next to us flipped over ours and tore all of our roof off, and all these things were just scattered everywhere, all across the street. Ken Babin agreed, saying it came out of nowhere. Next thing I know, everything started flying around out here. Stuff just flying all over the streets, tents being flown all around, and it was just a mess. While it was a scary moment for many, some are looking on the bright side. I love those bright siders. Came out of nowhere came out of nowhere. Don't know if it was a tornado or those straight line winds, but regardless, it was windy. Crews repair flood damaged roadways. Okay, roads are now collapsing because of rain. This has to do with uh, East Texas. Uh, you can check out how many roads, but there are so many roads that are just crumbling from the rain and this newscaster says well it's the weight of the rain it's the weight of the rain yeah well you you remember when rain occurred in your area and suddenly your roads collapsed right thousands lose power as a strong storm hit Tampa Bay uh, stray storm yeah storms fired across western Oklahoma Sunday afternoon today on their way to western Arkansas. Well, there was nothing, nothing, nothing. I see nothing, okay? I see something. And what you see are, well, what you could refer to as a whole lot of anomalies happening on this radar, like this huge uh, 
circle of what? Right here. All right. Well, Carol, get off it. Doesn't matter how many times you say it. Did you know that a Boeing 737 flew into the water around St. John in Jacksonville? Uh, St. John's River. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, if you're familiar with that New World Insider 1969 speech by Dr. Day that I have posted an awful lot on, and he says, there will be no more security. 1969, Dr. Day gave a, uh, a talk, um, starting it with, you will not record this, you will not have any pens or paper to take any notes. You will just sit there and listen to what? The crazy psychopathic elitist nut jobs have planned for the United States. One thing he said was, there's nothing that can stop us. He said that you will no longer have any security. Bridges will collapse. Dams will collapse. Trains. You'll see far more trains crashing, falling off tracks, planes crashing. No one was killed, fortunately. All right, NASA official warns of meteorites uh, that they are a threat to the Earth, and they're far more common than anybody thinks, anybody knows, any oh, when I see these kinds of things happening, when I see this kind of headline, um, it makes me wonder, you know, all right, the grid will be coming down or a major catastrophe is, is soon to come that they will bring about and blame on a meteorite. Very possible. And here, several storms slam central Florida on Cinco de Mayo. Um, well, let's just listen. Calls and emails from many of you today reporting that damage we just saw across the region. Eyewitness News certified meteorologist George Waltenberger will join us live in just a moment with the details on this massive storm system. But first, we have live team coverage for you to show you what happened and where. Megan Cruz found damage around Orange County in the Orlando area. Deanna Albritton is in Lake County near Eustis, where a large tree fell onto a home there. But we start with Channel 9's Ashley Edlin and Marion County in Ocala. Now, Ashley, there was a possible tornado in that area. Yeah, Darlene, that's exactly right. We've been talking to a lot of people out here today, spend most of the day cleaning up and helping crews out here try to pick up trees that were in the road that were blocking people from actually getting to their homes. I want to give you an idea of what some of these people were dealing with. You can see this tree just looks like it was just ripped and just fell right over. But I want you to take a look over here because we were talking to a man today while we were out here surveying some of the damage, and he showed us something that I think is really going to bring this home for you. Take a look he says that here he had two trailers you can see this indent where the trailers were right here in the dirt but if you walk over here with me a little bit you can see that he says that these two trailers actually ended up right over here and he says he watched those two trailers go from that spot i just took you from to right over here outside of his window and then the trees started coming down and popping all over and this is what happens. So you watched all this. I mean, you just yep. must have felt helpless. Yeah, you couldn't do nothing. All you heard was glass busting out of the back porch. Now, unfortunately, that is not where the story ended and the damage ended for this man. He says his mother was actually here on the property and she was so nervous because of the weather that she actually started having chest pains. She was rushed to the hospital and he says the doctors say that she may have had a heart attack. So we're going to continue to show you the damage out here and see how this has truly impacted people. And we're going to have more on that for you at 10 o'clock. But for now, we're live in Ocala. Ashley. All right, you can watch the end of it. I'll link below to everything. Yeah, people, oh my God. All right, so my trailers were there and I watched them go over there. Don't know if it was a tornado or the straight line winds in Florida and Mississippi. We're hearing this all over. We hear, never saw anything like it. Came out of nowhere. Well, I wish people would begin to think, but 
Uh, yeah. And a lot of you left comments saying that the trees are dying. Upstate New York, Hudson Valley, New York, uh, that you're not seeing any sun, you know, anymore, that it's like two months of gray skies, Massachusetts. I lived in Massachusetts, so, oh, yeah, I know. Um, heard from uh, subscribers in South America, Brazil, Costa Rica. Um, so many are without sun. Where the hell is the sun? All over the world. Many are also feeling the weight of what is happening, and it's hard. You know, if you have resources to find some joy to get away from this, this, uh, you know, it's like a just watching destruction every single day of life. If you can get away from it for a while, do that. Do whatever is necessary to keep yourselves um, sane. And because the weight of all of this, if you, if you can't get away from it, it, the emotional really has an effect on the physical, as well as the mental, as well as the spiritual, as well as you know, your cognition. I mean, it really does a number. So... Make sure that every single day you do things that you find some happiness, find some joy, um, get out and, you know, with your family, with your loved one, whatever. And um, try to release some of, you know, this angst whether it's the frustration or anger or depression or whatever. Yeah. And I also know that there are some of you who have no more resources. Yeah. It, it is hard to deal with. I know. All right, guys. All links are below.